I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll try to understand the concept to find conditional probability. When we say conditional probability, it really means that we are finding probability of an event where something else has already happened, right? Let's look into this question. A die is rolled twice. What is the probability that the sum of two is greater than 10 given that one of the two roll is a six that is first question the second one will read like what is the probability that the sum of two is greater than 10 given that the first roll is a six right so that is the question for us now to answer this question let us look into the combinations so let me make a matrix or rather uh, kind of a table you could also make a t chart so we'll write the numbers let's say this is uh, for the first roll right so let's say roll one and this is for roll two so if i have numbers let's say one two three four five six these are possible six outputs from a die let me write down this for the second die okay so 6 by 6 so we are expecting 36 outputs now when we say sum that means the operation being performed is addition right so when you add it up so what do you get you get 1 plus 1 as 2 and likewise you get a lot of numbers here so we can write down 2 plus 1 3 4 5 6 7 here we have 3 4 5 6 7 8 3 plus 1 is 4, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5 plus 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this will be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now the question is, what is the probability that sum of the two is greater than 10? So here, let's look into the area where the sum is greater than 10 we actually come across only three numbers some could be 11 or 12 right so we need to find what is the probability that the sum of the two is greater than 10 now in addition to this we are given additional information it says a now let's read it properly what is the probability that the sum of the two is greater than 10 given that one of the two rolls is a 6 so both are not 6 one of the two rolls is a 6 so that means uh, this first one could be a 6 that means we are looking into this column and the second one is could be could be a 6 right so so I mean these two columns we are looking at correct so one of the two so one of the two rolls is a six. That means both are not six. You get an idea, right? So, so that is the case with us. In conditional probability, we are now finding the probability of an event of getting greater than 10. So we'll say uh, the event A, will define the event A here as uh, uh, greater than 10, some greater than 10, okay, some greater than 10 and the event b is in this case one of the two rows is six right uh, one of the two is six right now here sum greater than 10 now how many times do we have a sum greater than 10 which is when the condition B is satisfied. So what we say here is, what is the probability of A to happen when B has already happened? That is the nomenclature. And what we know here is the probability for A to happen when B has already happened is the probability of where it is common or intersection of A and B, right? Intersection of A and B divide by probability of b right now in our case the probability of b that is one of the two rolls is 6 will be 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are 10 out of, out of 36, right? So in our case, we know here that the value of this A sample, that is NA, is equal to, we are talking about when one of the two rows is 6, not both, right? So some greater than 10, we have only two cases. Do you see that? These are the two cases where the sum is greater than 10. And they are within the pre-existing condition that one of the two rows is 6. So this is 2 for us. And as far as B is concerned, that is one of the two is 6. We can say N of B is equal to 5 and 5, 10. Correct? So now, we can write down the probability. These numbers are out of total of 36. So this is equal to probability of intersection of these two. So common between these two is just 2, right? So it is 2 over, I'm, I mean to say 2. Let me write down here now. So it is 2 over 36. That is the probability of A intersection B. A intersection B, right? We are not considering this divided by probability of B, so 5, right? 5 and 5, 10 out of 36, correct? So that is to say 2 out of 36 times 36 over 10, and that is 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. So the probability is 1 fifth if one of the two rows is a 6. Do you get an idea? So I'd like you to go through this concept and then we'll do, take up the second part also. So we have done part A. So we did it by, say, defining two events. Event A, where sum is greater than 10. Event B, where one of the row is 6. Number of elements in event A is, I should say, A intersection B. I should say not A, but A intersection B, right? So when B has happened, so B is one of those are 6 and sum is greater than 2. That is what it is. And B is, one of them is 6. So, so we get these numbers and that help us to get the answer. Now let's look into part B. Okay. In case of part B, we are trying to find the probability that sum of 2 is greater than 10. So in this case, we are trying to find probability that uh, sum greater than 10 when first roll is 6 when first roll is 6 right so instead of writing in terms of a and b i've straight away written the probability right in this form a over b now this is indeed equal to probability of these two to happen right so that is the intersection of a and b this is our a and this is b for us okay divided by probability of B. Now B in this case is first row is a 6. Now what is that? First row is a 6. That means we are looking now into this set. First row is a 6. So that is this set we are looking into, right? So we are looking into this set. First row is a 6. So in this case, we find that NB is equal to 6. Do you see that? And now, what is N A when B is true? So when first roll is a 6, and then we are looking for a number which is greater than 10, so we are looking into these two numbers. Is that okay? So N A is, is 2. And from here, we can write down the probability. So probability for A to happen when B has already occurred will be 2 over 36 divided by 6 over 36, correct? And that gives us 2 over 6 or 1 third. So the probability for the second case is 1 third. So let me write down the answer here. Mm, let me use a different ink. So that's absolutely clear. So. If one of the two rolls is a 6, we get 1 over 5 as our answer. And if first roll is a 6, we get 1 over 3 as our answer. 
So that is how we can actually solve such a question, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.